but we had to go to the doctors and we've been at the doctors for the last Two and a half hours? Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. Unbelievable is the nicest way of putting this right now. Today, she's a community safety officer for Cambridgeshire. Put me on another course of antibiotics, so that is. I'm Stacey. I'm John. And this is. Raw Ability Life. life. Good afternoon, everybody. It is <coughs> nearly six o'clock. I gotta finish getting the video up for you guys. Um, hopefully it won't be late. It's mostly it's uploaded. I just gotta finish doing the end bit. But we had to go to the doctors, and we've been at the doctors for the last. Mm, two and a half hours? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, we are on round two of antibiotics. Hurrah! Who is it? Laura from Caremark. What? Says so you had a chat with social services, please call back when you can. We'll call back then. It's 5.30. She might be there. Uh, I'll catch you guys up in a bit. We need to get me out my chair and stuff, so... Unbelievable is the nicest way of putting this right now. So the care manager gets back up back to us after she's supposed to service services today. Social services tur later turn around from to the her. New care agency, the care manager from the, from the new care agency spoke to our Stacy social worker. Social worker later turned around to her today and said everything we told her on Friday is a lie. That all the equipment is in place. It's all serviced. The only thing that's not serviced is the hoist. Um, that Stacy's refusing the care. Um, that she was offered a big package and refused it. Now, yes, three years ago, there was a big package offered. No problem. No care, is he? All the all equipment was in place, so we said, that why have the cares in here? Wasting money when they can't do anything. So the equipment wasn't serviced. Because the equipment wasn't serviced. <laughs> so she's trying to use that. Uh, she's trying to use that against us from three years ago. She's probably not spoke to the OTs yet from Friday, thinking, "Oh, everything is here." That's what it is. She hasn't. She hasn't spoken to the OTs yet. Nope. She legitimately thinks everything's in place. <laughs> Which means they did break the rules by talking by, by, by talk to social workers ahead of time. No, I know that. Problem is, we, we can't get proof of that because they won't want to admit that no. they talked to social workers without permission either. So, yeah, we are going to lawyers tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Stacey's going to update the letter for this. My opinion is British. Stacey's, in my opinion, is straight British at the court at this point. It's, it's just ridiculous. Um, the care manager for new care, she's got to call up on a Wednesday to see if we want to do a joint meeting between her and the social worker. But she's going to call on a Wednesday to see what the lawyer says. I'm I think the, the lawyer's going to want us to do it so that the social worker can drop herself in it. Possibly. At the same time, I can see the lawyer not wanting to do that because this doesn't want to put us through more grief.
But it's either going to be, okay, what, what equipment? That one's 2013, all those things are 2013, there's nothing here any newer. I, I, I guarantee you, we're going to go, uh... Because she can't say she's supposed to do OTs because she hasn't got our permission from us yet. So, yeah, fun, 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 fun all around. Well, guys, what a day. I am not as shocked as John over the social worker, although pissed, I'm not shocked because it is the games they play all the freaking time. I'm not shocked. You're not shocked. No. <laughs> um, it is easier for them to be in denial than it is to be, oh yeah, we've done this all wrong and oopsie doopsie, let's do something about it. I don't know exactly what they thought they were going to achieve because the next step that this care manager was literally suggesting was a joint meeting between that care agency and the social worker. So the social worker would have to come here and defend what defend what she was saying with the care manager looking at the equipment going, it's not service, we can't use it. So what did she actually expect? I mean, we sat there at those two meetings with the social workers saying the carers can't do their job because the equipment is not serviced. She left here at the last meeting saying to get in touch with her again when the equipment is sorted so they can sort my care plan out. None of this adds up. None of it makes sense. Um, yeah. Well, that's social services for you, but we're going to talk to the lawyer tomorrow, find out where we stand, see... My, my cousin Kim's suggesting we take it to the papers, but um, I'm not sure if that's a, quite a good idea or not, but... Gonna to talk to the lawyer tomorrow. Um, okay, so also today we had the lady come out. Can you send me that photo of this Kate person, please? So we had a lady called Kate come to see us today. She's a community safety officer for Cambridgeshire Constabulary. Mystery. So she came out to see us because of the problems we were having with the people knocking on our doors. Now luckily that has stopped. Um, now what they believe it may have been to do with is that they were aware that I lived here. They'd probably seen me either in the flat or around the flat or whatever. They'd noticed me around, knew I lived here. Um, and just presumed because of my disabilities that I would be an easy target basically so they were probably coming at different the reason they were coming at different times during the day and night is to see if I would just randomly let strangers in or how secure my home was basically <coughs> which is why they were shocked to always see John at the door um, there is a possibility it could be something else it could be they were looking for another address or it could be drug related or whatever but they really believe it was to do with um, someone trying to check the security of my home um, because of theft and stuff like that. So, basically, because I have John here, I was kept safe enough. So, um, But she has given us a load of other stuff to help us keep more safer. So we now have alarms on our windows. The alarm, if anybody is even just messing around with the windows, they will go off. Um, she has left me so much information that I can read through and share with you guys too to help you guys stay safe in your own homes too. Some of this is irrelevant for me because I don't have a garden or a fence or anything like that. So, um, but she's left it so that I can share it with you guys because I did tell her that we vlog and we have other disabled people that we kind of like to share information with and so she said that she'd leave everything with us so that we could share it with all of you guys, which is cool. Um, I do have things that I can't share with you guys. So, like, for example, she gave us this awesome sticker to put on our door. Um, it basically says, Thieves beware. Security measures property protect... Security measures protect this property. And then it's got these, like, funky eyes on it. 
Um, and the reason we got this sticker is because she's put new security measures in our home and around our home to help us protect our home. Um, we've got the video thing for my um, door entry. And she's also given us this little pack here. Um, it's called the Ultimate Property Marking Kit. Now, again, I need to understand more of this. She explained some of it briefly to me, but um, as anything, it takes me a while to digest everything. Basically, with this pen, you, you mark everything um, with your house number and your postcode, and then it you can register it somewhere as well and if it goes gets stolen it and it gets found it gets brought back to you um so we're gonna have a good look at that and see what we want to mark up then she gave me a whole load more reading material to share with you guys so once i am well enough i will make a special video for us all about protecting our homes from unwanted visit visitors um but I don't want to be doing it with this awful croaky voice so forgive me while I don't do it yet um, it will add it to my list of things I need to get done there is a lot isn't there um, so the other one what was the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys but I can't remember I feel like rubbish um, I know John has told you he's just popped out to go and get some rotary chicken we need, he's tired so we don't want to cook uh it's been a non-stop day today it really has doctor put me on another course of antibiotics so that is i don't know if that's going to be any good or help at all it's um a different antibiotic It'll be one syringe four times a day instead of two syringes three times a day. But, I don't know. We will see how I go, but she's also sorting out physio for me. So, chest physio. Um, basically, we're going to go and see the physio people and they're going to do short-term physio with me, but then teach John how to do the long-term physio. Um, I guess we need more advanced physio than we've already been doing um, for the longest time but I'm now at that point where I don't have a strong enough my cough's not getting out the rubbish from my chest properly so it's just getting stuck and that's not a good thing so oh yes so we have um, they gave the lady gave John one of these too. It's a panic alarm. He's going to attack it, attach it by the front door. <coughs> so she really did make us feel a lot safer, and that's good. So we're going to um, do share this information with you. Just give me a chance to sort my throat out, please. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, so we've got a busy day tomorrow as well. We've got the lawyers tomorrow. We've got. So now hour's drive to the lawyers, it's just outside of London, so I am going to make this a really short vlog today of just catching you up with what's been going on today, because tomorrow is a long day and I need to get this edited and up tonight. Um, so hopefully you guys will be cool with that, I'm really really sorry it's so short, um, but really has not been all that much good well it's been a lot going on today but not much i can explain like big thing was this stuff with the lovely lady from from the police um but i can't explain that until i read all into it and then i can explain it all um so yes new stuff new antibiotics too and i am gonna edit this vlog get it up for you guys and get some sleep because we're going early in the morning to the lawyers so we will catch you tomorrow thank you for joining us in our crazy world bye